Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Road to Pro. Today we're going to go over a match that just happened on Friday that when, I, when the match happened, I wasn't really sure why we lost. Spoiler alert. But after reviewing this, I know exactly why. And let's show you guys so you don't make the same mistake. All right, so the match that you're about to watch is between myself and Russell, who's my partner for Illinois State, versus Mike and Bernard. Um, Mike is actually normally my partner for these types of events, but he's actually going to be playing with someone else at State, so I had to play with my partner for State. All right, and here we go. Russell starts off with a great lane pass. Defense is bobbing around. Oh, hits a great push side early on. Gets us a good start. Normally, I have a really good read on Mike's three bar. Um, so me being in goal here with Russell up front is the correct game plan. Russell starts off the match actually shooting really well. Um, that ball, unfortunately, to get back over to Mike and just kind of bounce off of me in a weird position. I stuck with my normal defense right off the bat here, and as you can see here, I'm blocking okay. Uh, I got that first block, I feel like I have a decent read, I've gotten two blocks, but both times the balls, I haven't been able to keep them in my area. I haven't made the adjustment yet, but the ball hits off one of my guys and goes in. Super unfortunate, but as you can see, not the end of the world. Russell makes a smart lane or wall pass here and back into his rollover set and hits that push side very well. Mike, known for having a really good five bar in town, um, also has a great snake shot, so he is always dangerous to say the least. He hits a perfectly timed pull side, which I can't complain about. I found out later that he supposedly was guessing on all of his shots, uh, which means that my reads, even though I get them here and there, are not true reads, they're kind of guesses. Russell makes a mis-execution, we go up 3-2, um, but again, Mike, always dangerous up here. He passes and shoots really well throughout the entire match, even though we go on streaks against each other. Huge mistake by Mike. Um, which I think actually is possibly why we won this game. Just one little mistake on the five. Russell had the right read there. Um, Mike doesn't get the rebound on the five. Russell recovers on his three, makes a good middle read, um, which I did not see there. <laughs> but he's got a good picking uh, rollover, so no complaints. I haven't even had the ball yet, which is kind of upsetting. I just, as a side note, I actually bought new wraps for the first time in forever, um, which made the feel a little weird. As you can see, everything that hits onto me is leaving my zone almost instantly. So I'm into game plan here, and hit him with a really fast wall pass right off the bat. What's interesting is Mike knows that I have that wall pass, and he, for some reason, gave it to me anyway. Uh, I'm sure he didn't mean to give it to me anyway, but it did happen. Game two. Mike, from that pass right there, I can already tell that he's changing his whole game plan. And this is where I start to make a mistake. I have actually changed my defense. My defense is no longer the same as it was in game one. I made a critical error. And the error was to not stick with what was working. I tried to make a minor adjustment just to continue through the match and kind of get away with things. But for some reason, in my brain, I said, oh, okay, no big deal. But nonetheless, I make an adjustment, and I didn't realize in my head that I made the adjustment. Um, and that was my critical error throughout this match. Mike continues to pass well. And look, my zone, my defense, totally different. I'm way more jittery. Yeah, I got the block. But I'm way more jittery. I was so much smoother in the first game. Just making silly little mistakes. 
trying to stick with the game plan here, which is to get Russell as many passes as I can. Um, the reason I'm doing this, and that was a huge error on my part, new wrap really messed with me. Um, and it does, I think, for one more ball after this that I get. I should have actually warmed up with the new wraps, but they're a little bit thicker than I'm used to, and I'm used to a really thin wrap. Russell gets the ball anyway and scores. Uh, Russell was playing really well this match, regardless. Um, it seems like he never really got the ball uh, with how well Mike was doing on the five, but... And look, goofy defense, giving him holes. Yep. And he hits a great push side. And if I would have been paying attention and realized that my defense has been different, that may not have happened. But in my brain, I thought my defense was the same, even though it's totally changed. Russell makes a really smart call here. This time out at 2-2, this is a huge point, guys. 2-2 in any match, when you have the ball on your three, you don't get the ball set up right, take a time out. Take a breather. This is an important shot. You do not want to just give this shot away. A lot of side talk over here. People getting rowdy. <laughs> And Russell puts the ball back into play. Bernard does have really good defense. He's a veteran in our area. Um, definitely a local veteran. He hasn't been coming out as much as he used to. But he is still a good player. Uh, and you will see throughout this match that he continues to play just like a goalie should. Nice and clean. I was sticking with the game plan, trying to... Uh, Trying to get Russell the, the ball as much as I possibly can. Keeping clears on goal. And trying not to get out of position. I was specifically trying not to get out of position. I think that was the last mistake I made um, with this, the new wraps, and a perfect pass on to Russell's three bar here. I actually personally think it could have been a little bit better. I think Russell right here got into his own head a tiny bit. Didn't want to uh, didn't want to stick with being stubborn like he was earlier. I tried to go to a pass uh, here to Russell's three bar again to the far guy. This is the biggest mistake I made in this game. Didn't get the execution because of the new wraps. Drove me a little bit crazy. I think my... Uh, yep, I actually get the block, which is huge. Um, kind of cover up for my mistake, give Russell another opportunity. But even though I've been keeping the ball in my area, doing what I need to do, you cannot turn the ball over to the opponents. Russell rushes the shot a little bit there. Um, both of us making mistakes right here, I think may have cost us this match. We could have gotten away with this right here. Um, and I didn't keep the ball in my zone right there. That was a big mistake on my behalf. Trying to keep the ball in your zone as a goalie is a pretty big deal. Again, totally changed my defense. Um, I did kind of go back to my game plan here, but the defense was not correct. I may be getting blocks, but it's not the defense that I am usually using. I kind of got in my own way. Worried too much about other things in the game. And that's kind of the biggest thing you know I can really tell you about this whole match is <clears throat> when it comes to leveling up knowing when to make an adjustment and when not to make an adjustment are huge um, I made an adjustment too early in attempts to completely shut him down and didn't really realize that I made the mistake I'm still getting the blocks that I should be getting right now but it shouldn't matter I I shouldn't have changed my D my D was working just great in game one uh, Russell and I make up for all of our mistakes by getting the blocks and the goal here, but even then. Set up for my pull shot, put something hard on goal to make sure it clears, Russell gets the rebound. Ooh, rough decision again, he kept going with the pull side, um, but uh, actually now walk, looking back, I think the push side's there a lot more than the pull. Um, and you know what? If I would have been a good goalie, I would have said, hey, look out for that. Uh, I did not say that off to the side. Sometimes when you're playing in a tournament, you need to talk with your forward. Have a good conversation with them. 
Ready? Oh, huge error on my behalf right there. Mike gets this turnover. And he turns it into a really good shot. I mean, he just hit an absolutely great dead bar pull shot, basically. Or dead bar pull. Russell makes a great pass through here, sets up for his rollover. Bernard's getting good defense, has some really good defense here, uh, gets a good block in. Bernard sets up in his push set, goes over to the push side, and hits an absolutely perfect long slider. Uh, that is going to be a great zone breaker. I mean, that was absolute bone crusher right there. Um, that really good shot right there, and then Mike going into a chip up. Man. Again, changed my defense. I'm way more sporadic, not doing what I should be doing. Mike takes a smart timeout. This is the point in the match where I know that we can still make a comeback. It's a long road, but we can do it. We have the opportunities. I'm telling Russell right here about a pull side opportunity that I saw in the rollover defense of Bernard that I think he can take advantage of. So I know there's an extra point for us. So I have to get a block right here to make that even a chance. Which I don't. So now we're going into game three. Now, giving him the pull side thought process that I gave him was really supposed to be for that game. Um, because we needed a point, I didn't want to uh, maybe waste that, that idea for later. But now, going into the third game, we have no choice. And this is where things kind of fall apart for us. We, we haven't been playing bad. For the most part, we've, we've been passing through. I've been getting the ball out. Um, and there's the pull side that I told Russell to take earlier. But I have still have made a bad adjustment on my defense. And I continue to use the wrong D throughout this whole thing. And I'm paying for it right now. Because I changed to, to a totally different defense than what I had earlier, I'm putting more pressure on my forward. Because Mike is able to score, when normally I would get a lot more blocks. Now I've switched yet again because I've realized that something is wrong. I have to find a way to get blocks. Mike later told me that that shot that he just scored right there wasn't intentional. I don't feel as bad because I was in the right position. I was blocking his tap back to the middle. But it still went in anyway. Russell took a gamble there by trying to clear one onto goal. And now I'm going to probably pay the price for it. Mike takes a good pull side. And now he's shooting extremely well. He's had two great shots, one kind of lucky shot. All the pressure's on my forward. I have not taken any pressure off my forward at all as a goalie in this game. And Mike is putting all the pressure back on us. Because of the mistakes that I made early in game two, unfortunately, we're paying the price for it in game three. That one goes back to the push side. That was a great shot. He tapped back like he was going to go back middle. I should have gone back out there. Truth be told, I should have been looking for the movement um, and moved back over to the push side based on the way he was tapping. But, hey, that's life. I set up for my pull shot. I'm really just looking for a solid clear, something I can get Russell back into this with. Uh, I do a rolling slider, trying to kind of get it either onto his guy or on goal so that Russell can maybe take the opportunity and get the ball. Back down to me. Again, back into my pull set. Another hard clear in attempts to get Russell the ball. Mike picks the ball up on his five, passes through to his three. And at this point, I've gotten maybe 
one block? Maybe none? And Mike accidentally sprays the ball through my guys. He wanted to go out, but that's how it goes. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Road to Pro. Today, I showed you how one minor mistake can lead to ending and losing a match. Because I made an adjustment when one wasn't needed, we lost the match, plain and simple. By making that mistake, I learned a valuable lesson, and I'm hoping you will as well. I want to touch on one other thing. My wife has actually started her own channel. It's a food review and recipe channel. Check out the link down below. She makes some great stuff. Trust me, I'd know. If you like this episode of Road to Pro, click over here and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to watch another episode of Road to Pro, click over here. Thanks guys, and happy foozin'.